Hello crafters, this is Yana Smakula. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have three foiled greeting cards to share along with some hot foiling tips featuring the new Spellbinders Expressions of Love collection. I have sort of gotten tired of making Christmas cards and I think I needed a break, a switch to a different topic. So I was excited to dive into this new product collection from Spellbinders and make a few cards just for fun. The Expressions of Love collection includes a glimmer plate. It is a hearts border plate, which can also be used to foil a background for your A2 cards. While I was chatting, I've already gotten my quick trimmer out and have started trimming foil for my cards today. Now, if you don't know what this trimmer is, I have a separate video explaining it in detail. It's actually an unboxing and overview video, so I encourage you to watch it. I was in the mood to play and just wanted to heat emboss, well, not heat emboss, but uh, glimmer a few pretty backgrounds for my cards. I ended up glimmering quite a few and I didn't use them all, but I actually find it's nice to have backgrounds pre-made and ready on hand when I'm making cards in my craft room so that I don't have to think about the backgrounds for the cards ahead of time. I can just work on my focal point. I have Glimmer Hot Foil System here. I've placed my Glimmer plate. I have taped it to the paper along with the foil. And now I'm just waiting for the Glimmer to heat up and foil this design on my paper. For the first panel, I went with a tone on tone look, a red foil on red cardstock. It's very classy, very bold, perfect for a bold statement, love you card. Now I'm repositioning the plate on my panel. I'm using washi tape to tape it in place and adding my foil to foil this design again and complete my A2 card background. It's important to use washi tape as that allows the plate to stay in place and foil exactly where you want it to foil. So just repeat the same steps, add your shims, send your sandwich through your die cutting machine, make sure to go slowly, and glimmer this beautiful design onto your panel. I'm going to carefully remove the glimmer hot foil plate. It is quite hot, so I'm being careful not to burn my fingers, although you won't actually burn them. And here's a look at my panel. And I have a beautiful panel, although I did foil it the second time a little bit too close to the first one. Like I said, I have foiled a bunch of panels for my cards and here's a look at all of them. I really love how the foil shines. So for these first two panels, a light red and a darker red, I used red foil for a tone on tone look. For this panel, I used gold foil on white. It's very classy and I think I like this one the most. Gold always looks really nice on white. Now for these two panels, I used champagne foil. So I used champagne on cream cardstock and then champagne on hot pink. And then for the light pink, I went ahead and used dark pink foil. I think it might be fuchsia color, I'm not exactly sure, but I'll make sure to list and link all of the foils and all of the cardstock colors that I used in the video description below and also on my blog. Now the Expressions of Love collection includes several additional products. It's a small but mighty collection. In addition to the hearts background, that's actually called the scattered hearts background, the Expressions of Love collection includes three more products. One of them is a set of hard dies. It's called Forever Love Hearts, and they're nice and big, not too big, but big enough to take center stage in your card. And you'll see me use these hearts on nearly, well, actually on all three of the cards that I'm sharing today. Another product in this collection is called Sunday Sunset Drive, and that is an add-on to an existing Sunday Drive die set. It's a little adorable car from Spellbinders. You might be familiar with it because it's been around for quite some time now, and it's actually very popular. So this collection includes an add-on with a Mr. and Mrs. or a boy and a girl, and they're having a date. And then another product in this collection is a set of sentiments and the sentiments read forever yours and love you. I went ahead and die cut the parts and pieces from the Sunday Sunset Drive set to create the couple, the adorable couple and a car also for one of the cards. 
Now, here I have a few tools that are essential, in my opinion, to putting these together. I have a Zig two-way glue pen, and I also have a little jewel picker, a little very handy tool that allows me to easily pick up and move around little tiny pieces, such as these die kits in this die set. Now, in this die set, you have lots of pieces. At first, they might seem confusing, but once you put them together, uh, once you become more familiar and you understand better how to use this die set. So just make sure you have a little bit of time on your hands to play around with these die kits. So you have a body for the girl and also a body for a guy. Each character, they have a different clothing that you can use to dress them up. And they also have different hairstyles to create different, well, different people. For example, I die cut the loose hairstyle and I used yellow cardstock because I wanted the girl to look like me. And then for the guy, I die cut his hair from black because I wanted it to look like my hubby. So here you can see me putting these together and I'm just playing with different die cuts, trying to decide which one I like best. And once I figure out all of the little details, once I figure out how I want these put together, I'm going to go ahead and use my glue pan and adhere everything in place. Now, I did struggle a little bit with the, well, that with that particular die cut. I wasn't sure what that is for. I'm still not sure. I'll need to ask the designer who designed this die set what it is for. But basically, I die cut the jacket for the guy in my card out of light blue card stock. I didn't want him to wear a black jacket. I wanted to add a little bit of color to my card. And here you can see me playing with the hands. So you have one very muscular hand for the guy, and then you have two hands for the girl. If you want to add hands to the girl, I decided not to add hands uh, to her. And she's just basically sitting still. She will be sitting still in the car and enjoying the ride. So she's not like screaming um, and uh, she's not too excited. Well, she is excited, but she's not having, she's not throwing her arms in the air. So I'm just going to go ahead and use glue to adhere all of the parts and pieces and complete my happy couple. Now, what's awesome about this die set is it's very well thought through. Just like all of the Spellbinders die sets, you have even the little die cut pieces to add a shirt to um, the guy. Here you can see me adhering the collar and then the little cuff on the hand. You also have little pieces to create a scarf for the girl. And she even has two different options to create a shirt for her outfit. So it's a fun set to play with. And like I said, you can choose different hairstyles, die cut hair from different colors. You can die cut the people, their skin from different colors of cardstock. Or if you prefer, you can also die cut everything out from white cardstock and then just use your Copic markers or other coloring medium to color these pieces in to whatever color you want. And if you're using a coloring medium, you can also add shading to your die cuts. I think it's more time saving because you're just die cutting the pieces once from white cardstock. You're not looking uh, through your stash like I did. I had to pause and look through my stash for all sorts of different colors of cardstock to make sure I have the correct colors for all of these pieces. Now, having assembled my couple, my happy couple, I went ahead and pulled out my Sunday Drive die set. Here you can see it on my magnetic sheet. And this actually includes one other add on. A Halloween add-on from Spellbinder. I'm not going to be using that, but I do have all of these dies stored on one sheet just because it makes it a little bit more easier. So just so you understand, the car die is a separate product. It's not included in this collection. The couple is basically an add-on to the car. You can use the couple alone. You can have them positioned in any other die cut. Maybe you, you can die cut an opening like a window, a heart opening or a circle opening and just place your couple inside of that opening. That would be really cute as well. So you don't have to use the car, but the, the couple is designed to go inside the car and sit in the car as if they're driving and having a really nice date. So I'm just using my glue, glue pen to assemble the car pieces. Again, it's a little bit time consuming to put the car together because it has all of these little small pieces. But because of the little pieces, you really have the freedom to customize your car and add little details, add different colors, you know. So it makes it worth it in the end to die cut, to spend the time die cutting all of these pieces just so that you have a really nice and detailed car on your project. 
And this is one of my favorite dies for Spellbinders to put together. Previously, they had Trekking Through the Seasons die, which was a part of their large die of the month for, I think it was November or October 2019 or something. I mean, it's, or maybe even 2017. I don't remember. Anyhow, it was a very popular die and it's still around. And that die had lots of different add-ons for it as well. And now Spellbinders has the Sunday Drive die, which is a, a slightly different style of car. And um, they've released a bunch of fun and awesome add-ons. There's a Christmas add-on. I think there's um, Santa and reindeer, if I'm not mistaken. And then there's a Halloween add-on and uh, a, a birthday set as well. So you have a lot of options with this die set. And again, once you've put the car together once, you will remember how to put it together again. So it might seem difficult at first, the first time you put it together. But once you've done it a couple of times, you'll be more comfortable doing it. Now, this Sunday Sunset Drive also comes with little greenery and flowers. And what you see me do here is you're seeing me switch one of the attachments in my tool-in-one to a stylus attachment. This is a medium size stylus. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a regular pencil eraser as a surface to shape my flowers. Because the pencil eraser is nice and soft, it's not too soft, but it, is, it does have some softness to it. I can use my stylus on top of that pencil eraser and shape my flowers to give them a little bit of dimension, a little bit of curl, just to make them look a little bit more realistic. I love doing this. It takes a little bit of time, but I think this extra step is really worth it. And I not only shape the flowers, I actually go ahead and also shape the leaves as well. That makes a really big difference because it adds a really nice, subtle dimension to your die cuts. Now, I've die cut the flowers from hot pink, light pink, and yellow cardstock, and this is the color combination that I will be using for this card. I also have a white side folding card base from Spellbinders. Spellbinders now offers card bases and envelopes. They have a card shop section in their store with different card sizes, card orientations. So you have top folding, side folding, you have A2. I think they also have five by seven, that sort of thing. I've went ahead and I've cut out the foiled hearts panel. I used the largest rectangle from the essential rectangles die set from Spellbinders. And I also have a panel of light blue cardstock. I've cut it a little bit larger than that hard opening. And the hard opening was die cut using the hard die included in this collection. Now I'm adding double-sided foam tape to the back of my panel. And I will use that to adhere that light blue panel behind this foiled panel. And also to adhere this entire foiled panel with the blue panel onto my card base. So now I have a gorgeous foiled background and a beautiful blue heart behind it. Next, I'm using foam tape to foam mount my car, die cut onto the car. I'm trying to make sure that it is centered. I've also die cut the greenery pieces from green cardstock, and I'm just going to go ahead and adhere them in place. Now, before doing that, I decided to switch things up a little bit. I didn't quite like the colors that I used for the car. So here, I die cut the back seat and the roof from different color cardstock. I used the same light blue as I did for the heart opening. And then I used black for the roof to just to add a little bit more contrast to my car and make it a little bit more interesting. I think that these colors worked a lot better than what I had previously. So now that I have my car completed, I'm just going to adhere the little greenery pieces to the back. And I think that that adds nice detail and it cheers this card up a bit. I have also foiled the Sending Love sentiment and I used one of my Spellbinders Skinny Strip Sentiment Glimmer Plates to foil that. And I used gold foil and that same light blue cardstock. And here I'm showing you how I store my glimmer plates. I have these magnetic sheets from Spellbinders and Fun Stimper's Journey and I adhere them to thick chipboard. Sometimes I have them double-sided, sometimes they're single-sided, and I just stick my glimmer plates onto these sheets, and that makes it very easy to store and organize my glimmer plates. I don't necessarily store them by a specific set. I often mix these sets, especially if it makes sense to mix them together, like I do with the skinny strip sentiments. I just have all of the sentiments in one set, 
And then I also have all of the skinny strip dies to cut the sentiments out on another set. So here's a look at this card. You can see how I finished it. I added a lot more flowers. I also added some little cute hearts inside of that heart opening. And I just love the way it turned out. Now, I also have this positive die cut heart that is left over from die cutting that background panel for my first card. So I'm going to use that heart for this second card. I've already went ahead and dry embossed a panel of white cardstock and I used Fun Stamper's Journey Love Stripe Embossing Folder. I've cut that background to four by five and a quarter inches and I've foam mounted that onto an A2 white card base also from Spellbinders. Now I'm just playing with the different element placement. I'm trying to figure out how I want everything positioned on this card. And you can see that I've also embossed. I keep saying embossed. I don't know why I do that. And I've also glimmered a sentiment for this card. And the sentiment reads XOXO. I'm using foam adhesive squares. These are large foam adhesive squares from Funz Chamber's Journey. And I'm going to go ahead and foam mount the heart in the center of my love stripe embossed panel. Once I have that done, I'm also going to foam mount my foiled sentiment. I really like to add dimension to my cards. I like to use a lot of foam adhesive. Some might say I use too much, but that's just my preference. I usually hand deliver my cards or if I mail a card, I include something else in the package. So I'm not concerned about the card being squished in the mail if I send it just in an envelope. I am doubling up on foam adhesive in that white one corner on that one side just because that's where the sentiment is going to not overlap with the heart. So I need a double layer foam adhesive for additional support. So here you can see a close up of that here. Next, I'm going to go ahead and adhere all of my little die cut pieces. And here's a look at this pretty little card. It's very clean and simple, easy to make. And the best part, I basically used a leftover die cut from the previous project I was making. Now, my last card for today features the other two die sets from this collection. Here I have a beautiful die cut heart. And the heart is actually a two part die cut. So you have an outer hard die. That's what I used to die cut the light blue heart. And that's actually what I used on the other two cards that I shared today to die cut the heart opening. And you also have two insert designs. So here I used one of the inserts together with that outer hard die and I die cut it from white cardstock. What I'm doing now is I'm adding foam adhesive squares to a foiled sentiment. The sentiment says thinking of you and the sentiment is going to go onto the white die cut heart. The reason I'm doing it this way is because I also want to add foam adhesive behind that sentiment, like I'm doing here, so that I can foam mount the white die cut heart onto the light blue heart. The white die cut is very dainty, very, it is very detailed, so there's no way I would be able to add foam adhesive behind it without the foam adhesive showing. But because I have that sentiment panel, I can hide the foam adhesive behind the panel and that's how I can add dimension to my white die cut while it is sitting on the blue die cut. And because I have that dimension, there's a little bit of shadow and the whole thing just looks a little bit more pleasing to the eye. Next, I'm going to add the little die cuts, the greenery, the flowers. I once again die cut a bunch more leaves and a bunch more flowers and I've shaped them. And I'm just going to go ahead and embellish my little heart with these die cuts. Now I did something different to create a background for this card. Instead of using a glimmered background, I thought about creating an embossed background using this glimmer plate. It took me some trial and error to figure out the exact way to do this, but I did. And so I'm sharing this with you in this video. Here I'm using the glimmer plate. I'm placing a piece of white cardstock on top. Next, I'm adding my Spellbinders tan embossing mat. And the way I like to do this, I place the panel onto the glimmer plate. I hold it with one hand so that it's not going to shift. So I'm holding it like so. Then I'm adding the mat on top of this. And I'm holding the mat, once I've added it, with another hand. So again, nothing shifts. 
Then I'm adding my top plate. Now for this, because glimmer plates are a little bit thicker than the Spellbinders or any other dies, you need to use something thinner on top of the on top of the sandwich to make sure it works in your machine. What I found works well is adding one clear shim from your glimmer. So here I actually first tried adding both of the shims, but I forgot that I only need one. So I'm only adding one of the shims. It's actually called a spacer plate. So I'm adding that on top of my rubber mat and I'm embossing that in my machine. And let's take a look. Here we can see it, it gives us a very beautiful, very gorgeous debossed effect. For this background, I really wanted to have that debossed, not the embossed, but the debossed look. You can also get an embossed look if that's what you want. So here I've aligned the plate once again. I'm holding it with my hand with one hand I'm adding my rubber mat on top and then I'm adding the clear spacer pad on top of that and sending that through my machine to emboss and here you can see the beautiful beautiful design now you do have a bit of a weird overlap where the two plates meet that's just because of the nature of the plate the plate has an uneven design and that design gets impressed into the paper when you emboss but I have found once I cut the panel out using a die, so I'm again applying a little bit more pressure to this whole panel in my die cutting machine. Once I've cut it out using a rectangle die, that seam, that uneven, uh, unevenness sort of disappeared in the center and that worked really well for my card. So next I used glue to adhere the heart die cut onto the background and having done that, I went ahead and added all of the little additional die cuts that I had planned for this project. I also die cut Forever Yours. I used that last die from this collection with the sentiments. And I went ahead and I die cut these from several layers of cardstock. I added double-sided sticky sheet to the back of the paper before die cutting it. And that allowed me to easily and quickly create sticky die cuts, basically stickers which helped me to create a chipboard-like sentiment. So again, the sentiment looks dimensional and I achieved that look by adhering several layers of cardstock together. So here's a look at all of the cards that I have for you today, created with the Spellbinders Expressions of Love collection. I really love how these turned out. They were so easy to make. I had so much fun playing with these products. And I hope I've inspired you to go ahead and try using your glimmer plates to maybe emboss or deboss a background or a little element for your card. Thanks so much for joining me today. I love you guys and I'll see you next time. Bye.